It's been a little over a century since the birth of Japan's most famous dog, Hachiko. Despite the passage of time, his heartwarming story continues to be shared by many. Hachiko, or Hachi, is remembered for his unwavering loyalty to his owner, Dr. Izaboro Ueno. Every day, Hachiko would faithfully make his way to the Shibuya train station, seeing off Dr. Ueno and happily greeting him upon his return, walking by his side on their way home. No matter the circumstances, weather, or distance, Hachiko continued his daily journey to the station, eagerly waiting for Dr. Ueno. His devotion earned him the admiration of thousands, making him Japan's national symbol of loyalty. A small litter of Akita puppies was born on November 10, 1923, in the city of Odate in Akita Prefecture, renowned as the birthplace of Akita dogs. It was during this same year that Dr. Izeboro Ueno, an esteemed agriculture professor at the University of Tokyo, sought the help of a student to find a pure Japanese-bred puppy. As if it were destiny, his student knew the person with the previously mentioned puppy litter. After a long and tiring train journey, a 50-day-old puppy finally arrived at the Ueno residence in January 1924. At first, Dr. Uno and his wife, Yahiko Sakano, feared that the puppy hadn't survived the journey. He was frail, but they nursed the puppy back to health over six months. With no children, the couple cared for their dogs as if they were their kids. Dr. Uno lovingly named the puppy Hachi, or eight in Japanese. His students added the ko part and nicknamed the puppy Hachiko. Soon, Hachiko accompanied Dr. Ueno and his two other dogs to the Shibuya train station. Several times a week, the trio gave him a hearty send-off as he left for work in the morning. In the evening, they would return to the station and wait for him to walk home together. Dr. Ueno and Hachiko had been together for about 16 months. As they spent time together, their bond grew stronger. On May 21st, 1925, Hachiko went with Dr. Ueno to the station to say goodbye as he commuted to work. Tragically, Dr. Ueno was unable to walk home with Hachiko that evening. During work, Dr. Ueno unexpectedly suffered a brain hemorrhage and passed away at the age of 53. During Dr. Ueno's wake, Hachiko crawled and slept under his coffin, refusing to leave. Even though he was given food during the funeral, for the next three days, Hachiko rejected all his meals. Since their marriage was considered common law, Mrs. Sakano couldn't inherit their home from her husband. She had to give up their dogs and move into a small rental. Thankfully, a family friend who lived in Nihonbashi, Tokyo, took in Hachiko. Even now, Hachiko lives 8 kilometers or about five miles away from Shibuya, but he still tries to return to that same train station. For the next couple of years, Hachiko moved between different families who were acquaintances of the Uenos. Eventually, Dr. Ueno's former gardener, Kobayashi Kikuzaboro, who lived near their old residence, decided to adopt Hachiko after hearing about his endeavors. Around 1927, Hachiko made it a habit to visit the Shibuya train station like he did when Dr. Ueno was alive. After his meal, Hachiko walked to the former Ueno residence before going to the train station. Every morning and evening, sunshine, rain, or snow, Hachiko would wait at the station for a while before returning home. Like before, Hachiko stayed there and waited for Dr. Ueno's return. At first, the station workers and commuters mistook Hachiko for a stray and a nuisance. They attempted to chase him away and mistreated him. Several times, he was teased and hit by kids. Vendors also threw water on him. Despite this, Hachiko still faithfully returned to that station to wait. It was only in 1932 that Hachiko gained widespread recognition. Seito Hirokichi, Dr. Ueno's former student, learned about Hachiko's unwavering loyalty from the gardener. Deeply moved by this story, Hirokichi wrote an article in Tokyo's newspaper, Ashahi Simbun, 
about Hachiko's seven-year journey. His inspirational story captured people's hearts nationwide. And soon, the Shibuya train station began receiving food donations for Hachiko. Travelers from all over made special trips to the station to visit Hachiko and offer him food. Despite his newfound fame, Hachiko remained faithful to his daily routine, going to the train station twice daily to wait for his deceased owner's return. A fundraiser was initiated in 1934 to build a bronze statue of Hachiko at the entrance of Shibuya Station. The event reportedly attracted 3,000 people and Hachiko even attended the unveiling. As the years passed, Hachiko grew old and frail, causing concern for his aging body. His ears had flopped over after being bitten by a dog on his way to the station, adding to his challenges. Thankfully, visitors and station staff took care of him. Sadly, a year later on his way to the station, Hachiko passed away on the street at the age of 11. A passerby found his body and carried him to the station's baggage room. After almost 10 years of waiting, Hachiko can now finally walk alongside Dr. Ueno once again. On March 8, 1935, Hachiko passed away, leaving a deep impact on many people. His departure became a front page headline in the newspaper. Buddhist monks honored him with prayers at his funeral. And the day after, thousands of people paid their respects to his statue. After his passing, some of Hachiko's remains were buried with his master in Oyama Cemetery and their headstones stand side by side. Hachiko's pelt was preserved and mounted on display at the National Science Museum of Japan in Ueno, Tokyo. His organs were also preserved when he died. It was initially believed that Hachiko died from a ruptured stomach, possibly caused by eating grilled chicken skewers. However, the University of Tokyo examined his organs and discovered that Hachiko had terminal cancer and a worm infection. They also found four skewer sticks in his stomach, but surprisingly, they did not cause him any harm. To this day, his statue is a focal point of his memory, with an annual ceremony held every April 8th. Although the first bronze statue of Hachiko was recycled for the war effort, it was rebuilt in August 1948. Recently, he was immortalized with new statues featuring him and Dr. Ueno. His story has inspired many movies, TV shows, and books. In 2023, Ode, the birthplace of Hachiko, had a series of events lined up for his 100th birthday. Hachiko's unwavering faithfulness to his owner made him Japan's national symbol of loyalty. Even after a century since his birth, the story of Hachiko continues to gain fame among new fans. And it is truly amazing to see his legacy live on. What a tearjerker of a story. I really do hope my dog is as faithful as Hachiko when she grows up. I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe and like this video. Check out a couple of my other videos on the screen. Sources as always are in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you for watching.